You know, I u- I used to ask my brother for advice on text messages all the time, but he got so annoyed. Like, Reagan, stop overthinking. And I'm like, uh, they stopped using emojis. Are they mad at me? And then I'll be tempted to ask, but like, I don't know. I don't want to overthink it, but I am. So then I would ask my brother, do you think they're mad? Because they're not using emojis in their sentences anymore. They just stopped using emojis. Like, I, I was completely <laughs> overthinking it. Okay, we're going to get a little existential here and talk about thinking. Our thoughts are completely imaginary, but also very real. And at any time in your life, your thoughts can be negative. And those negative thoughts tend to set in during middle and high school. And we've all been there. Sometimes I think everything's going to be all bad. I only have negative thoughts. I think about a lot about my relationship to other people. What if no colleges accept me, you know? Am I going to mess up? Oh my God, you mess that up. Like, look at you go again. Am I actually a certain way and I'm just perceiving myself wrong? What if, like, I tore my ACL and I never could dance again? What if someone else worked harder for this but didn't get it? My parents are gone for, like, 10 more minutes. I'm like, dude, what if they got into a crash? What if they got robbed? What if they got stolen? What if I got here and robbers already took over my house? Maybe they don't like me anymore and they kind of abandoned me and moved out of the country. Maybe they just left me. Then I get all, like, depressed because I'm like, oh, there's no people, nobody likes me. And that's a hard thought to, like, kick. There are so many versions of overthinking. At their best, our thoughts are brilliant and lead to changing the world and making great art or the invention of the ice cream sandwich. But often, they pop up and make it hard for us to be present when we're in the middle of doing something. My parents always tell me, you overthink. Do you ever have that moment where it's like after a conversation, you just realize, oh, I could have done this or done it this way. And one voice is telling you to worry about every little thing, things that you shouldn't be worrying about. And then one voice is telling you to not care about anything. And those two voices are really competing with each other. And then it's just like, ah, I don't know what to do. Like with feelings, your thoughts are there to protect you from things that might happen in the future. But they can also get out of control. Even though we don't fully understand where thoughts come from, we know there are ways that you can practice managing your thoughts. I like to cry because I feel like crying is good for you. Don't let this take control of you. You're, it's, it's a monster that is this big, but you make it seem this big. Like, all these thoughts are just, like, like, surging through my mind. In retrospect, they seem very minuscule. And then I realized I was, like, stressing over nothing. So, when it comes to our own thoughts, there are three important things to remember. They're not always facts. They are temporary. And you can change them. Be on the lookout for classic negative thought patterns that everyone experiences, like taking things personally, or thinking in worst case scenarios. I I definitely overthink what I eat, you know, what's too much, what's too little, when I should just eat until I feel satisfied and then not like, you know, worry about that too much. Self-love is so hard because it's like, well, they love themselves, so like, why why can't I love myself? Like, (laughs) I don't get it. And it's like, okay, yeah, but I think I should like myself before I like move all the way to love. I definitely used to not be good at changing my thoughts. Um, I just have to reassure myself and, you know, go to my close friends and be like, hey, I'm having this thought, please help me out. It overpowers it kind of when you hear from someone else saying like, you are loved, you're accepted. I love you, you know. Hearing that from someone that you care about is, it can change anything. So if you ever find yourself falling into a thinking trap or getting lost in your own thoughts, the first step is always to notice the thoughts you're thinking. Remember, they are not facts. Like for me, an unhelpful thought I have a lot is that I'm not very good at ending videos. I think I need to be funny or smart or cool, when in reality, there's nothing that I really have to do. It's going to be totally fine. The video will just end on its own. Is it end?